Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play series in Crusader Kings 2. John here. And we continue our adventures today as Harold, the Duke of Smaland, one of the vassals of the Kingdom of Sweden. And since my last video that I uploaded, I believe this is part 17 now, I have finally changed my YouTube account name to Trajan147. So I'm excited about that, working on getting some of my other accounts switched over to that profile name as well. So, we where we left off here with Duke Carroll of Smålen. We most recently assisted the King of Sweden in taking the County of Stetten in the Holy War over with, against Pomerania. Pomerania is not out of the woods yet. They are still defending against Upper Poland, Greater Poland, excuse me, as well as Brandenburg. And both of those counties trying to take Newmark. And right now, it looks like Brandenburg has the upper hand. Yeah, they have a war score of 73%, while Greater Poland only has 37%. But that matters not to us. The King of Sweet, we have already finished our war, taking Stetton from Pomerania. And we are now going to set our eyes on our own affairs. We, everything's great for us eternal, internally, excuse me. And if we come over here to direct vassals, we hold more and Olin personally, while Seved is our brother Daniel's county, and Just belongs to our chancellor, Count Stribjorn. Both of them direct. Both of them reporting into us. We also have a claim on the county of Gotland, which is actually a merchant republic, which we have decided at this time not to pursue. We're going to let him, because if we take the Gotland from him, he will be promote, demoted to just being the merchant equivalent of a count, and all of his trade zones will be destroyed, because a Apparently a merchant republic has to be at least duchy level to actually have trade routes. That is my understanding. And what I would like to happen is to become king of Sweden and for Gotland to not have to start all over again. But we do have a claim on the county of Suomi. So we are going to pursue that in this episode. Chief Satajalka, he's a independent chief over here he just holds the one county we could have gone we didn't need the claim to go to war we could have done a holy war for Suomi but then everyone else of like faith with him could have jumped in and helped them as it is we were able to get a chance over there get a claim and we're gonna go claim Suomi in this episode now we're gonna need some troops because right now he ha between his garrison and his levy, he has almost 3,000 troops. That's a lot of men right there. We can personally raise only about 1,600. So we are going to need some mercenaries. Just about 1,500 just to even the odds. Plus some for... So we are definitely hiring mercenaries. Fortunately, we do have the wealth. We have 1,700 gold in the bank. So, let's go ahead and get our counselors set up on the jobs we want them doing. Our chancellor really no nothing for him to do diplomatically. We could ha have him go fabricate some more claims somewhere, but for now, he's also also doubles as a good commander, which we're in s short supply of these days. So we're going to let Strebjorn lead troops. We're going to keep our... We're going to move our marshal from Oland to Moor. And something I've learned since the last time I did a video. When you have your marshal training troops, we no longer need a more marshal in Oland now because he's already succeeded. Levy reinforcements until... April the 13th of 1088. So, that's really only four months from now. 
but you don't have to leave your marshal in the county. The goal is to have the event, the levy reinforce the levy event, which there's a 50% chance yearly of. I've not, I have not, I have yet to have a noble interfere. There's only a 1.41% chance of that yearly. I've never had that event happen. But anyway, since we've already had, since we already have the trigger in Olin, we're going to move our marshal over to Moore. And have them train troops in Moore, get the event there. It already has military innovations, which improves the spread rate. But we, what we want in Moore is for our marshal to trigger the levy reinforcements event. Let's see, our steward, we will have him go back to collecting taxes and more, so we that'll help us towards our monthly income. And our court chaplain, we have him and more to research cultural tech, that's what he will continue to do. Our commanders are already set up, so let's go ahead and declare war on Satjalka. Claim Suomi, our claim, not the Holy War, but our personal claim. So, and let's raise all of our troops, as well as the mercenaries. We're going to look for, we need at least 1,500 just to even the odds, so we're going to look for a, about a 2,000 man group, 2,700 group here. This one here will work, the Breton Company will be 225 up gold and then 22 gold monthly. And so we'll go with the Swiss company. It's one gold per month cheaper for the same number of troops. So we'll hire a Swiss company. Let's get all of our troops together and just, and we're going to march them over to Suomi. And that's a lot of troops. They have. 3,600 troops there. Event spawn, 2,500. Okay, so they have a lot more troops than I expected. They may have, not sure if they hired mercenaries or if that is something else. We have 4,300 troops, so we should still have the advantage. How many troops do they have in the garrison right now? They have looks like 1800 so we need at least 1800 troops after the battle to be able to siege Suomi and the famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles give them patronage in which let's see you lose 10 gold gain 25 prestige 15 percent chance of getting the trait proud or ignore him all dynasty member of Hans Lord by 5 50 percent chance of getting humble so we can take proud which it's just monthly prestige or humble, which is monthly piety and same trade opinion. We're gonna go with. The, we're gonna see if we can get the. Well, there's only a 15% chance. If it was a guarantee, so let's hang on to the gold. Let's go with the humble. That will kind of continue the theme of Harold having all virtuous traits, which he's not gonna get the trait but that's okay and let's look at our looks like our nephew Johan who is the heir to the Duchy of Astute over in Egypt needs a guardian so let's get him someone set up real quick Raymond good choice Raymond will tutor him Court just came of age. I might should have hired a bigger mercenary group. We'll see. We shall see how this turns out. Okay, all of our troops are together. Merge them. And. Ah, we'll get back to that in a second, but our son Arnfast is ready for our guardian. So, Bo, Gregor, and 
Let's make sure everyone that's leading a flank has flank bonuses here. Maribel has flank, flank bonuses. Gregor has flank bonuses. And who is Rubard? Ah, Rubard is the mercenary leader here. He does not have good flank bonuses, so... Rubard, please step aside and let's let Stribjorn lead there. But if, let's see, would you like to lead troops? Apparently he does not want to just lead a military unit. Okay, let's meet these guys in battle. I'm going to try to set this up so that they attack me. We'll see if it works or not. For the moment, they are running away. Yeah, I know. Vassal of these race long. Oh, yes. Aren't fast. Let's see. I could have Duke Harold tutor him himself. I've been debating on this. I'm not sure if I want Arnfast to have a a stewardship education or a martial education. But I think we're gonna just go ahead and tutor Arnfast ourselves. No, not barn I want to. Though that wouldn't be half bad idea, but no, I want to tutor him myself. Just run back to swallow me. I'll have to watch out, they might try to race some boats here. Ah. I see what they've done. They've set themselves up a good defensive position here. If I attack them now, they have a bonus from the straight here. Okay. I'm not going to play games with them all day. Let's just attack them. Hopefully, we have the numbers and the commanders to overcome this diff this straight crossing penalty it helps that they only have two flanks so we are taking losses but I do believe we'll crush them here Especially once that middle point collapses. Okay, we've got him. We've got him. We might lose one. Nope. The flank held together. So, we've won this battle. The question is how many losses did we take? Good, we still have 3,900 troops. So let's get in there and... Oh, hold on a minute. Supply limit in this county is only 2.20. So we need to split our force up. Let's see. We need 2,000 troops. We don't, we don't want to go over 2.20 here. So. That was too many. Okay, we'll take this group over to Swami. And the other group will stay put. And my cousin Suniva, uh, Daniel's wife passed away. She died ill.
A letter arrived, but my nettlesome neighbor, not many days after the astonished envoys returned home. He was most grateful and deeply touched by the Red Roses. And, ah, the Roses event continues. Okay. I told you so. Gained 20 piety. Or they finally came to good use. The apple of Duke Harold's eye. Okay, let's try that. The apple of Duke Harold's eye. I was wondering what would come up the roses. So it's so just a waiting game now. We've got our troops over here besieging and swarming. Let's go ahead and turn the clock up and wrap up this siege. And my garden is the apple of my eye, my pride and joy. I distrust my gardener and would spend every hour of the day in my garden if I could. If I could, I would spend all my time in the garden. Duke Carol of Small and Games to Trait Gardener. Or, I love my garden, but there are other things in life to do, too. So I can either temporarily gain a plus two to diplomacy, or I can gain the trait Gardener, which gives me plus two to stewardship and plus one to learning. That'll work, because that'll help us with our learning ambition. So. Carol is now a gardener, and he has fulfilled his ambition to improve learning. So let's go ahead and get us a new ambition. So it's, um, let's see, do we want to have a daughter? Do we want to work on intrigue? Or do we want to try to gain an office? Dick Carroll wants to become steward of Sweden. I don't know what the odds are of actually succeeding there, but let's give it a try. The jihad fails. That is good news for us. The Egypt held on. So the cook complained to me about my son on fast temper tantrums. Apparently punched her son in the face again. Okay. This kid shows spirit. He gains wrath. Encourage him to be more patient. In which he is most likely to gain patient or at very least lose wrath. Or prefer a soul. Most likely he keeps Roth but maybe loses it. Okay, let's see. Roth is martial up, but intriguing diplomacy down. Personal combat skills up. Patient, there's a flank bonus there. Defense plus 20. Intrigue up, diplomacy up, stewardship, learning. Okay, we're actually going to go for the patient trait here. Patient actually gives better personal combat skills than Roth does. I never noticed that before. Oh, uh, and there's... All he did was lose Roth. Oh well. Ah, uh, keep has been built in Borgholm. Castle has been built in Carmelhus. And Temple and Finishing more. Excellent. All of our infrastructure we had going is complete. And Harold Slat has become Baron of Torsus. What happened? Oh yes, because the um, because we just finished that temple. Duh. Okay, so we can either create a new vassal here. Actually, for some reason, it's grayed out. I cannot just create a new vassal right there. So, let's see who we've got in our court. That would make a good chaplain here. We've got Ricard, Gustave, Raymond. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to give bishopric to this guy in the court, Gustav. He was the son of Olaf and Karen, who have both passed away. So, he's just 18, so he is most likely to be around for a while. And yes, as long as Sweden has papal investiture, this will be the only guy that we give the bishopric to. So, Gustav is now the Bishop of Torsas. And let's get back to our siege in Suomi. Gustav is now known as the Black of Torsus. Really? He's now a wicked priest. Well, I did not see that coming. We set him up as a bishop, and the first thing he does is go and decide to be a wicked priest. <laughs> and then meanwhile, our brother Daniel has gotten betrothed to Sigrid, who is Count Stribjorn's daughter. We could almost assault the place, but our numbers weren't quite high enough, so I didn't dare. And Jihad for Egypt, really? Didn't they just lose it? And now they're trying again. Okay, we have won the siege for Suomi. It is time to enforce our demands. Duke Carol the Small has usurped the title county of Finland from Sataljik uh, for him. Ah, so we the name just changed to Finland. Okay. Okay. And so Finland is now our personal county. Looks like there are so there are no holdings. We will change that sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and stand all of our troops down. Wrong button. There we go. Let's see. Probably need to get our. Yes, let's get our court chaplain busy right away, proselytizing in Finland. And let's see what the revolt risk is. Revolt risk is 4.0, both for cult, different culture group and religion group. But we will keep our martial. I think we'll keep our marshalling more for now. Now let's get him over to Finland. Let's so get our, our marshal in Finland get the because it has two negative modifiers right here. Local tax modifier is down and labor reinforcement rate is down because of new administration. That won't go away until January of 11, 15, wow, that, those, those modifiers are going to stick around for a while. Not only new administration, but also recently conquered. Levy size minus 200%. Local tax modifier minus, yeah, those are some heavy penalties there. That second one, though, will expire in just one year, so. Okay. Let's see what we need to do to wrap things up here. Our Chancellor is idle again, so we'll get him busy doing something. Wrong type of holding and domain. Why is Finland the wrong kind of holding? I don't understand. Finland tribe. So I can upgrade Finland tribe to a proper castle if it is the county capital 
and the county is big enough, city and temple holdings will also be created if they do not already exist. Requirements. Location is a Catholic religion. We're working on that. Has a stone hill fort in Finland tribe. What is a stone hill fort? And what happens if I just hold on to this strong holding? Depending on your circumstances, you might want to create new vassal in the holding menu or give the title away. Following holdings are of the wrong type, County of Finland. So Harold Slat has become Count of Finland, but it's currently the wrong holding type. Okay, we're going to call it for this episode. And... So yeah, now that we have successfully taken Finland, we're going to call it right here. And I'm going to figure, try to learn more about what has happened here before my next episode. And we'll take a look at what we need to do with Finland in our next episode. Thanks for watching. This is John. Hope you enjoyed this series. See you next time.